Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Rowena and we are back with another episode of Gaming Misadventure playing Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. We got Ragnai workers as our assets. Um, alliance teams and we got Grunt. Hell yeah. Alright. Need something, Shepard? Uh, that's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. <laughs> when this war is over, I hope we find every race that sat back while we bled and get some payback. Yeah, that's a great plan. Follow war with more war. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. You know, my lab studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. <laughs> Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently, he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Shepard. I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Tell me about it. I wonder, is Grunt on the ship? Probably isn't. Oh, I keep forgetting about Diana. You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. <laughs> you know, in the old days, they didn't have automat on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. <laughs> Let me know when we do. Oh, okay. Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. 
but our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions, so we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I would prefer to be alone. Yes, sir. I wonder how his personality would have changed a little if he was with, if he was in like Kasumi's quarters or something. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hey there. Aww. Oh, there you are. This one's primed and ready to go. Ma'am. Probably has something to say, though, right? Rachni? Of all the things to... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better look. Hey. <laughs> You're better looking, though. Oh, you can see up there. Never noticed that. And... Stop beating yourself up. It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Caden didn't. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. Greg, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here right now we have a war to win so clear your head and focus <laughs> okay okay you win it will not be mentioned again hello commander commander Oops. He's in the lounge. What the heck? Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Busy. I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. 
We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Greetings, Commander. It wasn't the first time we've faced Ragni. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead Reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. <laughs> if I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Another time, maybe. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready to go. So there's nothing to explore here? Oh. Um. Is that for subductions? Okay, we'll have to do this one. Well, I'll have to go there. We're done with these. Alright, let's check this out. Where's Gemini? I get it. Pretty much half my fuel to get here. Damn. Signal confirmed. Please don't. Reapers eluded.
faster than light jump successful. Sure, one day we'll get there. I found something. Spending. This is what's been bugging me since the beginning. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigation suggests that people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate and the server squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, service is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. Oh, Server's forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Keep me updated. Roger that. Oh, God. The diversion is working, Commander. Civilians are on the move. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. We must hurry. Are here. Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more service troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here. So scared. What? We die together. 
Please help us. Where? Oh, there's. Huh? Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. Okay. I guess we're gonna go around a little bit and see if we can pick any items up. Now we don't need to rush around like crazy. Got everything. <clears throat> Did we only get two civilians out? No way. against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close? I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. 
she and I were more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. <laughs> but let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Violent. Commander, okay. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay. Let's go check. Okay, okay. So, first engineering and then we'll see Liara. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy just like us. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. And then... Let's see if she has anything to say. Um, Rack 9. That must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic. But wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Alright, let's talk to Liara. Sorry. I don't generally go to Liara first, so I'm not used to making that. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. 
When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? At your service. My cabin, okay. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. Well, I'll say Commander Shepard was born on Mindwar, but never let what happened there define her. The Commander was also a powerful biotic, nearly unstoppable when she charged into a fight. She was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where she could. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> I hate this game. Makes me emotional. It's the music. The music gets me. Alright. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the city, though. Maybe. How much of this going on? Signal confirmed. Alright, at least we got some fuel. Now hold on just a second. Uh 
evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Okay. This is just me. There's a lot more locations available now. Still haven't gotten that. We still haven't gotten that. No, wait, no, this is a different one. But did I have the... I did not have it. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Faster and than light jump successful. Alright, um, Citadel. There's so much to do. There's so much to do. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Shepard. So, you're just... Commander Shepard. It's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. <laughs> if you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. 
and I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Primarch Victus has requested a war summit of council races. Yeah, I thought she would give me um, things to do, but apparently. There you are, we made a promise and we kept it, good boy. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look. No guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. I gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. All right, let's go to places and see who I can give stuff to. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to pause the video here, just so I don't bore you all. And then, if anything interesting happens, I will continue. All right, so there wasn't anything interesting going on, so we'll just leave, go back to Normandy, and try to find more things that I need to find. Um. Okay. Let me see what we need to do. So. Oh. Should have done that. Never mind. Um. So we need to do these, but I'm afraid that it will start this. We'll wait with these two for a little bit. Broken see. A lot of runner. Have I been there? Oh, we've been at these places. Haven't we gotten these? I'm. I'm a little bit confused, to be honest. Done, 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 almost done, I think these are all done, mostly. Have you been to the horse of Nebula? There's just so much, I, I have a hard time remembering everything they've seen in every place we've been to.
So we've seen all of these, we've been everywhere. But then, I'm confused because I'm pretty sure that we've completed all of these. Okay, so I managed to complete mm, two more missions. Uh, the one with Bennings, I think, maybe? Yeah, Benning evidence. Um, so what happened is that I completed Vistas on the planet, but you could actually buy it at the Spectre Acquisition. So I did that, and then I delivered the prototype components on the Citadel. And I think that's all. I keep forgetting to buy the stuff for Engineer Adams, but we will do that at some point. Uh, so I think I'm going to end this totally uninteresting video right here. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the next one will be more exciting. I'm sorry. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.